Okay guys, how is everyone? We've got a clean I can't believe it. The weather has been atrocious over the last few weeks. I'm in the camper van. I've just pulled up the Hasland and Murray's in Lancashire, UK. I've got my night vision equipment, the Psionics. So we're gonna get out filming. If anyone's new to this channel, I'm Mick. And what I do is go out filming the skies with night vision equipment at the moment using the Psionics. See if we can get anything unusual on camera. Lots of people are seeing strange things in this sky so please do subscribe to the channel leave a comment i'll always reply do get your comments down there the comment section is the community good conversations get going there so like i said i've just pulled up uh half an hour after dark i'm gonna get going and set this camera up so guys we are on our way lovely calm night there's a weather front moving in in uh, two hours or three hours clear at the moment a little bit of whisper cloud we'll get through these woods Right, let's get up. It is what it is. A bit cloudy on them. What was forecast, but often the case on these mirrors. So, guys, we've got a bit of wispy cloud moving in, but quite clear. We've got a full moon over there, so we're never going to get them really dark skies. But well, you can see the stars, not as bright as what they will be without the moon. I'm sure you will see anything else moving up there as well. So there we have the full moon. And with this bit of cloud about, not ideal viewing conditions. But we're out, it's not raining, it's not windy. It's actually a nice night. And you don't need crystal clear skies to film anything unusual that is what I'm out for. We've all seen the clear skies and the stars with this silence before. Let's spend a, let's spend a few hours, see what we can get. Do like following planes, like I said, so many sightings of things following planes. I like to follow them with the camera, you just never know. Two weeks guys, I'm off down to Wales in a camper van for a full week hiking, sleeping in a van, maybe some wild camping, plenty of sky watching. On the outdoor side of that, if you subscribe to SW Outdoors, the link is in the description, that's my other channel, that's just about the outdoors. But this channel is more the unexplained side of things, UFOs, some paranormal sky watching. If you do like the outdoors, subscribe, link in the description. We've been out there, like I said, so relaxing. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, they call them directors, commentaries from all the videos, going through them in more detail, saying why I am where I am what equipment I'm using what I do, what I do, just talking through the videos maybe looking at the comments and deciding whether I agree or I disagree with them because there have been lots of strange sightings people are quick to rule them out, there's nothing more than core headlights in one case, even though the camera was facing straight up into the sky, so let me know what you think about that Directors commentary on videos in the camper van. I'm gonna be back in the camper van telling you have all stories you guys are sending and if you do have any stories let me know in the comments and I'll tell them on the channel guys. Just notice something very bright there. Very bright, not flashing. checking the app on this one but it is bright it's not the RSS where's it gone there it is 
there's no satellite showing, so interesting. Every so often you get something interesting like that. Expected, very bright for it to be showing the ISS. It's just coming through the clouds, so it's not showing as bright as it could be. There's a clear spot coming up. This isn't showing on the ops, guys. Doesn't mean we're looking at aliens up there. There's a lot of things that don't show on the ops. Secret military craft and tech. On holding tonight. It's going to the clouds. It's keeping a straight path, it should come out before long. Where is it? What's interesting, it's completely disappeared, nothing's come out at all, not even something fainter. Not very bright, but passing through them clouds. Nothing has come out guys. Completely disappeared. If that was a satellite, I mean if it were a plane, it would have shown up coming out of these clouds on this camera. It's interesting. Nope. Definitely gone. You saw it? You saw its path going along here through the clouds. That's great because I haven't been out long. Strange. That was very odd, very bright. As bright as what you see, the ISS, that's why I thought it was the ISS. But that isn't passing and there's no satellite showing. It's completely awaiting. See, we're going through all these clouds here. Bloody clouds are getting in the way and they're waiting for it to come to this clearness. And it just never, never appeared. Very odd. So yeah, director's commentary on older videos give a lot more detail into what equipment I was using, where I was, why I was there, what a film that I thought it was, what the public thought it was. I'll do some of them videos, but a lot more stories to tell you in the camper vans, well guys. That was odd, it just disappeared completely. You can see how clear it is over here. It's bright, I think, whatever it was. Moving through these clouds, this direction, waiting for it to come out into this gap, and never did. It was moving at some pace as well, it really was. You can tell we, you know, planes are obvious. We've got one there. It's normal satellites, they don't move at that pace. That seems to be even moving a lot quicker than your normal things up there, as it was a lot lower, but it disappeared. You get a lot of creepy animal noises when you're out. It's a noise I heard a few scallops ago, and I'm not sure what it was mentioned on the channel. Somebody said, uh, fox, fox barking, foxes and badgers make some strange noises. Trying to do more continuous footage rather than just filming clips. I won't miss anything, and I'm still baffled by uh, what that could have been. I 
just not moving through the clouds, and when the clouds are moving, it can give the appearance of lights moving up there while I was shooting towards me. It's another mystery. So often, sometimes, I shoot a minute to have a walk, shoot a minute to. I've missed so many things doing that. Oh. A lot of meteors. Meteors, these shooting stories you miss. So many times I thought, damn, I wish I were filming. So I'm just keeping the camera rolling this time. I can try all sorts to try and get something. On your camera, guys, and you switch it off. It's just typical that something will move through the sky and you'll miss it. So you have done wills. In the tour of South Wales. I think I think in North Wales to start off with and I'm thinking maybe I'll go down Pembrokeshire. I'm not sure yet, but definitely Wales in the camp have had lots of sky watching. Hopefully we'll get some good clear nights. Lovely evening, that's, a, that's a lovely. It's not cold and there's no wind shimmering. Got that bit of cloud about. But it, the cold is supposed to move in later, it's supposed to get rain and weather from for a change moving into the UK. But it's good to get out even for a couple of hours. It was weary when you're looking through night vision. I mean, these hills, pitch black, I can't see them. Let you see somebody stood there, staring at you. Maybe you've won there, Will, but nothing like that so far. Picks up a light moving through the clouds over there. I'm not checking the app for every little light, satellite, or plane. That crosses as that's where it's likely to be, but anything unusual I'll check, I think that's a plan. Guys, I have absolutely no idea what that was. It wasn't shown on the apps, it wasn't the ISS, it wasn't a satellite. It's shooting through the clouds, very bright, you saw it. Very bright. It's shining the clouds over there. We're blocking it out, I'm waiting for it to pass through a clear slot of sky and it it just didn't, this camera would have picked it up, if it started fading out it would have picked it up, it just completely disappeared. Not shown on the apps, no idea, and it seemed to be moving fast, it would be high up and moving very fast, so it would just lower down, whatever it was. That's why I love coming out, you just never know, you never know guys, always worth it. So, lots more coming up, like I said, I'm off to Wales, please do like, share and subscribe, let me know what you think of this director's commentary on all the videos give me a lot more detail on them there's a lot more stories to tell in the camper van if you like the outdoors sw outdoors the link is in the description i'm doing more work on the camper van i'm doing work on a micro camper in my four bar four so if you like anything like that do as you describe also lots of hiking and uh camping out in these in these campers guys that rod well worth coming out leave me a comment i'll always reply Take care, speak soon.